Your grip, sense, and breathing are wrong. Focus, Robin. Again! Ready. That's enough for today. Your form has improved considerably. The pace of your progress is remarkable. Th thanks. I feel like I got the basics down now, but so, so tired. I think I'm dying. <laughs> You're exaggerating. Or at least, I pray so. Otherwise, you might as well die here. You won't last long on the battlefield. I suppose. But I'm exhausted nonetheless. But you... You've hardly broken a sweat. I should certainly hope not. If a little training winded me, I would be in no shape to serve Krom. Well, I'm impressed. You must train hard to build such endurance. Well, I awaken before dawn each day to build the campfires. Then, whenever we march, I scout the trail ahead, removing rocks and such. Wouldn't do to have someone turn an ankle mid-campaign now, would it? So, that's why. I always thought it was just a fixation with Pebble Collection. Uh, beg pardon. Did you say something? Nah, <laughs> nothing important. But I owe you for the training session, so let me help you with tomorrow's fire. It'd be a snap with my magic. Find a tree, hit it with lightning bolt, and presto! Instant forest fire. Oh, well, yes, I suppose that could happen. In any case, I do still owe you a favor. Whatever you like, name it and it's yours. You needn't decide today, of course. Think it over for the next time we meet. I am unaccustomed to ask favors, but if you insist, I shall find something. Hello, Robin. I've thought about your previous offer. The favor? Oh, good. What will it be? Just say the word. I recall seeing you eat bear with great relish shortly after we first met. I should like you to teach me the skill. Eating bear, that is. I remember that night. Lissa was in a froth. Said it smelled like... Old boots, was it? Wait... So, you didn't eat any either? I fear I've rarely been able to choke down wild game, and barely least of all. But as the war grows harsher, I can no longer afford to be picky. There may come a day when bear is the only food available to us. Best I train to overcome my aversion now, when our situation is not so dire. True. And even the finest night isn't much use on an empty stomach. Alright then, you're on. Let's get you eating some bear. Yes. I will train till I can consume anything, without concern for taste or decorum. Like an animal, or a savage. Or like you, Robin. Uh, Robin? Did I say something wrong? Uh, no. Nothing. Don't worry about it. So, Frederick, you don't have a problem with common meats, do you? Beef and pork are fine. I also enjoy good chicken on occasion. Then let's start simple. Take a bite of this jerky. I shall tear into it with gusto. <laughs> gamey, so gamey. <coughs> what is this? 
It's bear. Leftovers from the same bear we ate that night. In fact, I saved some. <laughs> healer! I need a healer! Animal or savage, indeed. How rude of him. Guess he wasn't joking about his aversion to bear, though. Hey there, Freddy Bear. I got some new cured meat for you to try. I'll thank you not to refer to me by that ridiculous name. And I'm not so gullible as to fall for your bear jerky trick twice. Oh? I thought you were serious about it getting over this, Frederick. Look, I'm not a monster. I prepared a whole series of meats in order of their gaminess. We can take it slow. Well, I suppose I did ask for this. Alright then. We'll start with chicken, then pork, then beef. Mm. Mm. Excellent so far. Next is mutton. It starts to get a little tricky here. This is manageable. You're doing great. Okay, this one is venison. By which I mean bear. <coughs> By the gods! I'm dying, dying! It's so dark. Tell Crom that. Ugh, stop exaggerating. Otherwise, you might as well die here. You won't last long on the battlefield. Whoa, I just had an intense deja vu. I said the same to you once upon a training session. And I was right. If I succumb to this, I can't well protect everyone on the front lines. My body is ready, Robin. The next sample, if you please. You talked yourself back into it. Impressive. And perhaps a little disturbing. Oh well, whatever works. Let's finish this. Frederick, open wide. You did it. You jumped down on that crocodile jerky like it was... Candide Fig. I have to thank you for giving me strength. And last, but certainly not least... W wild b bear meat? You can do it. You did it, Frederick! You swallowed the whole thing! You've overcome your phobia of bear meat! Thank you. Uh, but you look a little pale. Do you feel alright? I'll be fine. Better than fine, in fact. Thanks to you, I needn't ever battle on an empty stomach. I stand in your debt. Glad to be of service. After all, you have to be in tip-top shape to protect the rest of us. I should tell you last night, I made a promise to myself. I swore that if I could keep the bear meat down, I would offer you... this. Huh? A ring? But why? I would like you to be my wife. What? Oh, Frederick. I did not see this coming. I was thinking about what would happen if I managed to overcome my weakness. We would have no more reason to spend so much time together. And yet, I cannot bear the thought of leaving your side, Robin. So after much thought, I determined that I had no choice but to propose. 
I... I don't know what to say, except deciding to marry a girl when you didn't up chuck a mouthful of bear? It might be the most unromantic thing I ever heard. Well, yes, but... Oh, I don't care, Frederick. I've been in love with you since our first bear dinner. You do me a great honor, milady. You will not regret it. I swear to you. My heart is yours, my lady. I vow to defend you as knight and husband until death should part us. Ready! <laughs> Ready? Okay! No. <laughs> well, I'm impressed. You must train hard to build such en endurance. Endurance. You're doing great. Okay. This one's venison. 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 There's a mosquito. Little mosquito, you have to die. I'm so sorry. Don't you gonna sting me again? Here it goes, mosquito. Oh, I find it so terrible if I kill a beast. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. <laughs> oh, that's it. 